Hi there, Simon from simonwoodsadopt.com. Uh, I've got a couple of Cabernets here, both 2014, both Southern Hemisphere, one Chilean, one Australian. So I'll dig into them. The Chilean one is Erasurus's Max Reserva Cabernet Sauvignon from Old Vines in Gravel Soils in the Aconcagua Valley, so just north of Santiago, uh, weighing in at, uh, I think they're both 14%, so let's give this one a whirl. It smells juicy, plump, uh, berry rich. Uh, one problem I've had with some Erasmus wines in the past is sometimes they can be a little bit too reduced. Um, so they've got this sort of slightly uh, tight, rubbery, metallic edge. Here, I don't get that problem at all. It smells lovely, plump, ripe, juicy, and uh, as in, I, I, want to have a, I, want to, I want to get it in my mouth soon. And that's really tasty. Um, uh, so there is this juicy, quite voluptuous fruit. Uh, berries, black currant, that cassis edge, uh, but also a plummy character. I don't think there's any Merlot in there, but uh, there's this plummy, juicy freshness. Um, and um, also fresh edge, it's like a, a slightly herbal character. Not on the minty side, uh, slightly smoky edge, maybe from oak. Really nice wine, really like that. What about the wine number two? So we're in Margaret River for Robert Oatley, um, Margaret River Cabernet Sauvignon 2014. Again, as I said, 14% alcohol. Let's give this one a whirl. This doesn't smell like it's going to be as rounded, but it feels like it's going to be uh, fresher. Um, the same alcohol, but it feels like, that, yeah, there's going to be a like, it's more on that black currant side rather than the berries and plums that there were, uh, were in the, in the Erasuris. And uh, I don't know whether it's going to be th those slightly uh, leaner flavours louder. The first one smelt like there was a bit more going on. Let's see if I give this a swirl and see whether extra nuances come out. Oh, it's interesting this because uh, um, what? Uh, yes, there are those um, uh, those fresh black currant flavours, but then there's a very nice texture to it. First one was um, maybe richer and plummier. Here, the, it's sleeker, and um, I'm not sure which one of those I prefer. I mean, they're both pretty good adverts for Cabernet and not silly prices. I think they're both about same sort of price, thirteen, fourteen pounds, uh, and I. Uh, yeah, hard to hard to prize them apart. If you like your wines on the fleshier side, side go for the Erasmus. If you like your wines slightly uh, leaner um, but still fresh, um, go go for the Robert Oatley. I've uh, I'm, I'm, I've got a nice dilemma. Right? They're, they're both very tasty wines, and uh, I think probably I'll have a glass of each this evening and uh, see how they go down. I'll also be interested to see how how they uh, how they open up. I've only just um, pulled the cork on the Erasmus and just even sooner, uh, even more recently, uh, undone the screw cap on the Robert Oatley. So I think that both of them good now, but better still to come. See you soon.